Hi, this is Ikaro Fahey from Spectral Audio, and I'm here to show you what's new in CV Toolkit 2.2. The Notes module can now save and restore calibration files. When loading an existing file, CV2 can be automatically validated by comparing the frequency of the oscillator to the stored values contained in the calibration file. If the oscillator's frequency happened to drift slightly between sessions, the Smart Tuner will help you tune it back. If CV2 kit concludes that the calibration file is no longer accurate, it will ask you to recalibrate the R oscillator. The layout tab was redesigned to be easier to use and understand. It now gives you a visual reference for all your layouts, so you can easily find and preview your stored layouts. You can now easily save and delete scales in the Quantizer Settings tab. To save a new scale, simply click the Save button. To delete an existing scale, click on the lock icon to unlock it, and then click on the Delete button. We added a new toggle button to the routing matrix to activate visual feedback. This feature is useful for quickly visualizing new routings between the modules. The CV to MIDI CC converters were also redesigned to be easier to use. You can now switch channels on and off individually, so it's easier to map the channels to other synths and plugins. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel for an upcoming video tutorial to learn how you can use these converters in a couple of different ways. Here are some other minor changes that we added in 2.2. Triplet divisions to the clock generator and PWM clock modules. Ratio mode to the morphing VCO module. MIDI velocity mode to the AD envelope. Now the pitch band range can now be adjusted from the quantizer MIDI settings tab. Alright, that's it. So if you want to know more about this update, visit spectroaudio.com. Thanks for watching.